Everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, but you don't have to wait until Sunday to get into the spirit. No, you don't. Chef Catherine Fulvio is from the ba Bally Knocking Cookery School. <laughs> what was, was that good? Yeah. No, that's that wasn't. Um, I'm not Ireland. sure where it's from. <laughs> I've been practicing in Ireland, and she was just inducted into the Taste Awards Hall of Fame right here. Look at this. Congratulations. Thank you very we, much. we should point out that's a very prestigious award. Yes, it you was. You said Oprah was inducted as well, Gwyneth Oprah. Paltrow. Harry Styles, apparently. Harry Styles. Yeah. What? I mean, this he is didn't a big... show up for, though. I was quite disappointed. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. all right. You were, we were just happy you were there. And by the way, y'all, scan this QR code. This is a great recipe for St. Patrick's Day. What are we making? So we are making cottage pie. Cottage which pie. Which is a lovely Irish English recipe. We inherited it, and I grew up on it on you the did. family farm oh, absolutely so what makes it different from shepherd's, shepherd's pie shepherd's pie is lamb ah Sheep. and this is shepherd beef. this yeah. is beef this cottage is beef. pie is always beef okay so and you're you, mincing you have up. to start with the onions oh i see do you know how. how not to cry when you're chopping onions how? no oh, i'm it's pretty suggestive okay what do you do i know i heard you the hacks keep licking your lips Keep licking your lips. Keep licking your lips. And that makes you yeah. not cry? Yeah. Is, that real? Yeah. is that a hack you yeah. like? That's, that's a hack I like. Yeah. That's a hack you'll use. <laughs> okay. That's so that interesting. Someone told, told me to put a piece of bread in my mouth while yes. I cut. See, Does that work? They're all similar because the um, vapors from the onion look for moisture. So if your oh, mouth is a jar, so they, if you're chewing bread, they all kind of work the same uh, okay. way. Okay. So we're yeah. going to put this in so, the pot. Yes. Let's go with this. So we've our pot on. So we're going to cook off our oh, onions. I like that smell. What's that? Yeah. Just some butter or so, something in there? A little bit of oil. So oh, yeah. I browned the meat already, so our beef is already browned. Okay, so should I okay. add this into here? Yeah, so we're over there now. So these are cooked here. So you've yes. already browned the beef. The beef is browned. That goes in. Throw it in. Yeah. And then Throw let's see what in. we what have here. So we have there um, some rosemary and thyme, which is great Irish. Then we have here oh. garlic and we have carrot and celery. Pop all of that in oh, there. Beautiful. Thank you. you. You really chop everything super small, right? Well, you see, I like it small yeah. because it fits with the ground beef. It fits with the whole um, look of the ground beef. Like, you don't want chunky veggies in no, here. No, you don't. Yeah, no, nobody so likes chunky next veggies. Next thing that goes in here is flour, because you oh. need to thicken it, you see? Thicken it, yeah. So in goes your flour. What's the liquid that you put mm. in? So that, uh, oh. so that hardens it. Then we're going in with tomato puree. Oh, I you see. You don't say tomato, do you? Oh. Sorry. You tomato. Know what? tomato. You like the way you say it. Yeah. Tomato, potato. So in that goes. And then hold it. Thank you very what much. Is, is this chicken broth? Uh, no, beef. that's beef broth. Beef broth, yeah. And a bit of red wine. Red wine, okay. And then this here is Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yes. Worcestershire. Say that. <laughs> okay. And then that comes to boil, and you leave that to cook for about 25 minutes. Okay. And, and the peas can go in at any well. stage. Yeah. Okay. And what about the potatoes? So we're going to do our mash. Oh, don't forget to season. Season. Just salt and pepper. Okay. Over here. So now we've got mm. our mashed potato. So this is a potato Yikes. ricer. So what you do is you get your spuds. 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 You do call them spuds, don't you? Yes. I'm yeah. Listening. So they go in here like this. Okay. Right. And then you just so press good. it through. Now that is lump free. So your top Ooh, tip there look at that. is to use that's the ricer. A hack. To the get ricer. Lump -free. That's yeah. a hack. Okay. That people that's actually hack. use. Okay. Yeah, Are you trolling me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just check. What is so the cheese for? Because I'm so just that goes it. on top. So then that's cream and butter. Irish cream and butter has to go in there. And here's the little tip. Another little tip. This is egg yolk. Pop that Just in. The yolk. Yeah, and that gives you. Rises it or something? Oh no, it gives you a beautiful deep golden color for your spuds. Look how so, golden. And then you wait, and did you up? put them in? That's a, a hack. It's another hack. <laughs> Put them in the thing you use to ice a cake. She's hacking it. Yeah. And then yeah. what do you do? You just pipe it away it? there. Just yeah. how pretty that looks. Yeah. See, even you can yeah. do that. What, what do you mean, even? Well, you're not you're right. a great job with that. Look how order. nice that looks. Oh, my gosh, it's yeah. easy, and Wait, the kids would like to do it. You'll love it. I feel like it. we should You'll try this it. more often. You could also probably, instead of mashed potatoes, do, like, um, celery root or something. You could, indeed. And if then you didn't you want do? to put it in the piping bag, you could just put the potato on and then use a fork. You and need to scrape it, it because you need All right, we need so cheese and then on top. Cheese on top, and then you just cook it? Cheese on top. That Irish cheese is so good. Why is it so good? And there you go. And then here's our pie. Hold That's on. your cottage. Wait, I want to try it. There's an apple too. cake for dessert. Apple cake. From we, we have orchards at Ballynock and mm, like cooking school, mm. and we always make apple cake. So That's, That's hearty and delicious. Apple cake. Mm, hearty. That is so delicious. So mm. good. For this recipe, y'all go to jay.com slash food. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate oh, it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Mm. Patrick's Day. We'll be back right after this. Mm. I like this. Mm.